Want to know how to replace your Wi-Fi router without disconnecting your devices? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Clean Tech, home of daily technology news and reviews, and today we're going to be talking about how exactly you can go ahead and replace your Wi-Fi router without disconnecting any of your devices. Today's video is brought to you by Clean Router. Find them at the end of the video. So the topic is pretty much self-explanatory, how to replace your Wi-Fi router without disconnecting all of your devices. Upgrading to a new Wi-Fi router doesn't have to be hard. Here's how to easily switch all your smart home gadgets and other connected devices in your home to a new router in under a minute. Let's jump right in. When it's finally time to get a new Wi-Fi router, there's no need to panic. Whether you're switched, um, sorry, internet service providers, or you've decided to get something snappier, snazzier, or more reliable than whatever piece of plastic your ISP handed you. Upgrading your router doesn't have to be a headache. I mean, that's uh, pretty self-explanatory. I mean, in the 21st century at this point, it should be pretty simple. You know, you get the box, you hook up the cable, boom. It should be about as easy as that. Whether or not it is, let's find out. If you have a smart home like uh, this guy does, uh, you may be dreading the thought of having to manually update every light bulb, uh, light switch, and security camera in your home to the new network. As of today, he has 112 devices on his network. Uh, while typing a new password into a laptop or iPad is pretty easy, when it comes to smart home devices, you have to open each app for every smart device and go through the uh, sometimes painful process of updating its uh, Wi-Fi access. I, I actually am not the biggest fan of the fact that, you know, every single one of these smart devices that we have, whether it's bulbs or uh, smart home systems or audio interfaces or, I don't know, refrigerators or washing machines, whatever have you like each one of those uh devices depending on you know the make and model uh of said product they come up with their own app and you know they don't like to play nice with other apps so you have tons and tons of different apps on your phone that simply the sole purpose of which is to basically just control your smart devices and i feel like at this point there should be a more centralized system with that where you know uh you have a cookie cutter solution one device to rule them all if you will and um, i mean it, it's kind of saddening to see that that's not the case but unfortunately uh you know i i don't see that happening anytime soon either uh, this can be a real challenge for devices like uh, smart floodlight cameras uh, which may be on the side of your house 15 feet up that's right so you're gonna need to you know just manually dive in and you know have everything configured and set up but there is an easier way. Here's how to change out your Wi-Fi router without having to manually update each device. The short of it is keep the same network SSID or the name of the network and password. For those of you who aren't sure how to do that, here are the steps to follow. Make a note of your current Wi-Fi network name or wireless SSID and password. Uh, this may be printed on your um, modem or router or you can access it by going to your router settings page. This page can be found in the companion app or by typing 192.168.1.1 into a web browser. Um, and it doesn't matter what make and model uh, it is of your router. If you type this in, the page will load up regardless. Uh, if that IP address doesn't work, you can find the right one for your router in the network settings of a computer connected to the network. But then again, in most cases, uh, I'd go as far as to say like 98% of the cases, uh, th that should work. And if not, you know, you can always look it up just, uh, you know, either under the uh, device itself or you can simply just enter the name and the model of the device in Google and then simply, you know, uh, enter a Google search and it should tell you. Set up your uh, new router by following the manufacturer's instructions. And when you get to the stage where you have to create a network name and password, use the exact same name and password and uh, as your old network. Uh, unplug your old router. If your old router is combined with your modem, you will need to go into its settings to disable the Wi-Fi network there. All your devices should now be automatically connected to your new router uh, using the same network uh, name and password. So pretty much uh, we're just replacing the box itself, the physical box, and uh, the name we're keeping the same, the password we're keeping the same. And that way, all the devices that uh, are already configured on the old box should now automatically work on the new box. 
Verify your devices are working properly. I mean, that's just common sense. You want to make sure that everything is still functional uh, once you've gone ahead and installed the new box. And after that, you're pretty much done. But uh, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, this is a relatively simpler uh, way to ensure that uh, things remain online and functional. But then again, um, I mean, uh, it's going to be a thorn in my side until it gets resolved. Smart device manufacturers need to come up with a way where they can have all their devices. Nobody is telling them to, you know, like uh, make their devices in a particular way. I'm just talking about the software. Guys, start playing nice with one another. Let one app control your device. Even if, you know, that person doesn't have your app, they should be able to control your device that they have through an app that they already have on their phone. Maybe uh, through Google. I don't know. Figure something out. But yeah, that's just my thoughts on it. Let me know yours down in the comment section below. Clean Router is the only router you will ever need because it allows parents to easily manage all the devices in their homes and stop internet pornography. It's simple and easy to use, doesn't slow down the internet, and allows you to block pornography, gambling, and anything else that you don't want your kids to see using the 7 layer Intel filter. Logs all activities per device. It also allows you to put time restrictions, get email reports, and gives you the ability to block content by keywords and even filters YouTube. Check them out in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.